Good morning, Mount Pleasant Elementary School students. Today, we are going to be looking at a famous artist named Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol lived in the 60s and the 70s, and he worked as a commercial artist for people like magazines and advertising. So things that you would see on a billboard, maybe you would see it on a commercial, when you're looking at a magazine in the waiting room, those advertisements, those are the things that he would create. But when he got a little longer in his career, he decided he wanted to do something new, exciting, and different. And so he came up with this concept to take everyday images and produce them over and over and over again. And he called this pop art. So he would take like a Campbell soup can, he would produce it maybe like five or six times, and he would change the color in ever so slightly in each drawing, and he would put them all together. And it created an image called pop art. And pop art um, is just called pop art because it's things that are popular in culture that you would see outside every day. And so he did this with like Mickey Mouse, he did this with soup cans, he did this with famous people. So say like Taylor Swift today, if you drew a picture of her like four times and you changed the colors of her hair, that would be pop art. Super cool, right? And so Andy Warhol um, kind of is the navigator of the pop art movement and we're going to try to create some art in his style today. I hope you have fun with this project and I can't wait to see what you create. Let's get started. Project, you're going to need two sheets of paper. You're going to need a pencil. You're going to need something to outline with. A black marker or a crayon would work. You're going to need a glue stick. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need some heart to put in your art. So go ahead and hit the pause button and gather your materials. The first direction is always the same. Pick up your pencil and write your name because no name, no fame. You're also gonna to wanna to put your art code on the back. We're gonna flip our paper like a pancake and we're gonna fold it in half, lining up the corners and the edges and holding it and folding it. Your name should be on the outside. So go ahead and hold it and fold it. Once you've folded it in half, we are gonna fold it a second time, the top to the bottom, lining up our edges and our corners and pressing really hard to hold it and fold it. I like to go over my creases of several times to make sure the folds are nice and creased. You're going to open it up and you're going to see that we have now created four spots in our art. We're going to be drawing in these four spots. You can see I'm holding my paper the tall way. That's an artistic choice. We're going to be drawing in the first um, a rectangle and we're going to be drawing a snowman. I'm going to keep this drawing pretty simple only using curved lines and basic shapes. You can make your snowman however you would like but if you want to follow along with me you can. Just pause the video whenever you need to. So I'm using rectangles and I'm using straight lines to create my snowman's hat. After I've done that I'm going to start adding some details. You want to keep your details big because we're going to be transferring this and the smaller the details you get, the harder it's going to be to see. So I'm going to be doing a carrot nose, I'm going to be doing a little rock mouth or um, coal mouth, I'm going to be doing a scarf by using a curved line, maybe I'll create a pattern by using vertical lines. I like my scarves to have a little tail, so I'm going to add some more little rectangles for those and then I'm gonna add some buttons down his side and some sticks for his arms All right if you've done this too great job the next step is going to be to outline so we're gonna use a black marker or a crayon to outline just this one image okay so I'm gonna use a black marker because I have one but if you do not have a black marker you can use a crayon just make sure to go over your drawing very neatly making it bold. This next step is 
gonna be a little bit tricky. We're just gonna be cutting our papers um, on the fold. So we're gonna create four different tiny papers by cutting the folds apart. You may have done this with me before in art class. So we're just gonna take our paper and kind of cut it up. All right, so you're just gonna cut up that fold. And now you have four papers. Now we wanna transfer this on to our next paper. So we're just gonna put our little um, sheet on top of our drawing and we're literally gonna trace. Notice how I'm going ahead and using my black marker. I do not have to use my pencil. If you have a crayon, you can do the same. We're transferring the same image by copying it. Um, onto the next paper. We're going to repeat this step two more times after this one because we want the same image to repeat just like Andy Warhol. If you're having a hard time seeing your paper, you could hold it up to the window or to the light and it'll help you. Sometimes if I put my image up to the window I can see it a little bit better and then I can trace there. If you feel more comfortable tracing with pencil rather than marker you can do that whatever your comfort level is. So I'm just going to be adding my details tracing right over the drawing that I drew first and I'm going to repeat this step two more times. So now I have two snowman. I think I'm going to add a little stripe in the hat. All right, so now I'll grab my snowman and my new piece of paper, place it right on top and start tracing again. I'm gonna repeat this step one more time. I'm gonna speed up my video, but you can pause it and go ahead and do your tracing now too. Now that we have four snowmen repeating, we are going to use some crayons or markers, whatever you want to use to color our snowman's details because snowmen are white. So I'm going to choose four colors that I love for each snowman. We're going to stick with those four colors because we want our art to resemble Andy Warhol's pop art and he's stuck with a color scheme in his, kind of like Mary Blair who we talked about earlier this year. So I'm going to lay my snowman out and I'm going to start to use one crayon for each of my snowman's background. So I'm going to start with my yellow green. If you choose purple, that's okay. You choose the colors that make sense to you, but remember we're only choosing four colors for this project. So I, I stuck with Christmas colors, greens and reds. So I'm using a lime green in this snowman's background. I'm going to choose my other colors for the other background. So each background of my snowman is going to be a different color. I'm going to speed this part up, but choose the colors that you want for your background and stick with one color for each background. dark green for this background. Notice how I'm filling it up using heavy application and trying to really fill the space in the background. I'm going to go ahead and finish my background. Now here's where Andy works the same fun in his projects. He sticks with the same color schemes. I'm going to lay out my snowman and the crayons that I used in the background on top the way that I like for them to be. I'm going to take my crayons and I'm going to rotate them one time to the right. So my red will go on my green and my lime green will go on my dark green and my green will go on my red and my red will go on my purple. And I'm just going to color in one thing on my snowman. So I'm going to start with the hat. So I'm going to use those colors to color in the stripe of the hat. Notice how each color has shifted one snowman over. So I'm going to finish up with my dark green on my red. The next step is to rotate your crayons again. So I'm going to take my red, move it to my lime green, my see, okay, good job. Now I'm going to take that and color in a different detail. This time I'm going to use the snowman's scarf. So I'm going to color in the colors that I just rotated to color in my snowman's scarf. Notice how I have my red now on my lime green. And each color should be in your snowman at least 
once, right? Because we have three details. The stripe and the hat, the scarf, and then the nose is going to be last. to rotate my crayons one more time and I'm going to now use the color that's on it to color in the nose. Now I noticed that I didn't color in the top part of my hat so I'm going to take my black crayon or my marker and do that to make my hat look more like Frosty's hat. And there you have it. You have some pop art snowmen. The next step is going to be to glue these onto another sheet of paper. I only have white paper here at my house. But at school I have colored paper. If you have colored paper, you could use that. Whatever you have is fine. Notice how I folded that paper so I know exactly where to glue my new snowman. I'm just going to open my glue stick, turn each snowman on its back, and I'm going to create a um, glue frame around the back side. Then I'll place that into the square that I folded on my new paper. I'm going to repeat this step three more times. You can arrange your snowman in whatever color order you want. It'll be fine. I like to do opposite colors. So red then green and then red then green. your very own pop art in the style of Andy Warhol. Once you're finished with this project, I'd love to see what you created, so please upload a short video or a picture of your artwork onto Canvas. I hope that you found this project fun and I can't wait to see what you created.